Hello there, hope you're all well and welcome to another video. Today, Dadex does fertilizer, weeding and cover crops in Farming Simulator 2017. Now, this field needs ploughing. The top half that is showing is fully fertilized has not yet been harvested. We're going to work in the harvesting patch. Now, the game talks a lot about harvesting at crop growth stages, which is a bit misleading because you can fertilize stage one after the harvester just as we're doing here. So basically the crop cycle starts with harvested land and finishes with ready to harvest crops and you can fertilize land. Now there you see we've got stage one fertilization along where the little hurlyman has been. Now we're going to set the plow going because we're going to harvest the strip with the corn seeder, the Amazon one, which uh, fertilizes as it seeds and we're going to see where, where that leaves us and this one here the case is pulling the Vader stat if that's correct um, seed drill so this is cultivating and planting at the same time so uh, we'll let these guys get on with their business now you could actually fertilize behind the plow and when I plow the fields which is then when I do a crop of corn or sunflowers uh, mostly corn because it makes a lot of money and the pigs like it um, I would send the fertilizer after the harvester then after the plow and then the seeder actually finishes the job as I'll show later so there you go you can see where we are there this guy has done his line he fertilizes as he seeds so that strip of land now has two stages of fertilization now I'm sending the Hurleyman back down with this fertilizer he's doing this to give a second stage of fertilization to the area to the right that's where the seed drill went, now that cultivated and it planted but needs the fertilizer now the menu screens in this game hold a lot of information, a lot more than they have in the last game and I just wanted to point that out it is worthwhile having a cup of tea and a biscuit and flicking through the tabs on these men these help menus there's a lot more information in there than there's ever been it'll give you a really good grounding to what's going on in the game if you've never played it before there's even quite a good guide to the icons in the game there um, not all of the crop icons there are even icons in FS7 uh, 15 that I, I'm not really sure what they mean here we are then look you can see the uh, the two strips of the field there that have got two stages of fertilization on them now uh, fast forwarded we've got one stage of crop growth we can fertilize again but we're not going to no we're going to jump in this hurleyman lovely little tractor struggles a little bit with some of the jobs that he does well he's got the weeder now apart from anything else I love the weeder the way it unfolds some of the animations and the graphics in this in general um, compared to 15 are absolutely um, fantastic um, right now the weeder I hoped the weeder might be a little kind of bonus um, in terms of a uh, crop yield but no he simply counts as another stage of fertilization without using the fertilizer if you look every time you rent the tractor out you get a new person inside it some of them are very inappropriately dressed the lady before not sure about her shoes from a health and safety point of view he looks like he's probably going to go to a disco but anyway no that's what the weeder does it's it's not extra don't do it on top of the three stages of fertilization it is the third stage well it doesn't have to be the third stage it can only happen in that window after the crops have popped up first of all and before they move on to the second stage of growth but it's free it's a little bit slow but it's free so there you go there's our field now low strips three stages of fertilization they're ready to grow um, Right, I'm planting a cover crop here, as you can see from the icon. I'm planting, what is it, the oilseed radish. Now, cover crop does not count as a crop in any sense. It really, really doesn't. So I fertilized behind the harvester and I fertilized behind this seeder. Those two stages of fertilization stay on the field. The cover crop's just going to become stage three, as we'll see. Now, um, 
The AI is supposed to be better in this game than it used to be. But watch this guy. He's going to turn to the right, back towards the stuff he's already planted. Um, I don't know this this machine, but he seems to do it a lot. If you stop him on a row and restart him, um, he will turn to the right at the end of that row, regardless of what uh, what's going on. I don't know if it's because he's recultivating, so he can. But do keep an eye on him, because uh, yeah, he can get a little bit wayward. Um, this situation doesn't normally actually happen. Um, I'd usually let the harvester probably be a whole field ahead um, before I start fertilizing and seeding etc but uh, this is a little bit more compact now let's see where we are there's our field two stages of fertilization a little bit scrappy but I have been rushing around to get this little tutorial done so now we are now going to basically send this seed drill up make sure you've changed it to the crop you want I mean, in this case I've changed the barley and off he goes he's basically going to cultivate that in as he goes and that's going to become the third stage of fertilization. Oh, the case is going to struggle on that hill a little bit. Oh, I've jumped out by accident yet again. Left bumper X. I don't left bumper enough. Let's have a look at the radishes. Ah, not much to see there. Anyway, basically, this is how it works. Um, we're turning this over, replacing the cover crop with the barley, doing the third stage of fertilizer at the same time. Um, I wouldn't really recommend this. I don't use this. It pushes your harvest, um, the time it takes for you to harvest your film at your field, um, back four to six hours every day. Uh, each day your harvest is going to start four to six hours later. Um, I wouldn't even want to try this if you were cultivating uh, or ploughing and then seeding. Um, so no, it's an option. I guess seed is cheaper than fertilizer. Um, the time's quite valuable in this game. <laughs> That's what I found anyway. Um, but the choice is yours. It's an option. Let's have a look at the map. That guy's done his two rows down the right hand side of that field. There you go. They are now fully fertilized. Uh, that's it. Done for the day. As you can see, they are planted in barley. What more can I say? That's a cover crop. Maybe a waste of time. This guy, AI, look no improved? No. That harvester likes to swing left and then go right. So if you leave something too close to him, you know. You can leave your trailers at the end of every second row, or how many rows your uh, harvester is going to make up and down the field, uh, and get on with some other jobs. But this guy, he does get tangled up a lot. Uh, right, this is just a quick clip of, I mean, this is kind of my system, a little bit compressed again, space wise. Uh, we're going to send the case up here, and uh, the case is a great tractor for the starter tractor. I sold one early on, replaced him with a Hurleyman, um, which works fine. The case is getting very expensive. I think it's over a thousand dollars a day maintenance. I don't know if his performance is dropping off or what, but he's going to have to go. But the economy is very different in this game. Uh, I'm actually putting together a video on the economy. I think you're going to have to you're going to have to play the game a little bit differently to maximise your money, because uh, uh, yeah, the fluctuations in the market are out of your hands, <laughs> from what I've seen. Anyway, this is kind of how I'd do it. You know, got that guy seeding this tractor. Got his nose bag of fertilizer. He can manage the tippers. Hopefully, keep the uh, the harvester moving if the driver's up to the job. And then uh, in between, he'll just whiz round, harvesting in front of the cedar and then behind the cedar. Um, if you miss in front of the cedar and uh, he seeds stuff you haven't pre-fertilized, you kind of miss a window there. You've then got to wait for a growth stage to catch up. You can see, you can fertilize behind him, obviously, but you lost the opportunity to fertilize before him. So uh, keep an eye on it. The small cedar I've actually found, uh, sorry, fertilizer is actually I found a lot handier for doing this, um, simply because the wider one's great for the overnight fertilization. The Hurleyman does that job, um, but the width is too much. Uh, you have to wait too long to not waste fertilizer, whereas this guy can kind of nip up and down like he's doing now, making the stripes. You've got the dark brown stripe is fertilized, then the light brown stripe is unfertilized because it's been seeded, then you've got the dark brown stripe that's been fertilized after the harvester, and then the light brown stripe that hasn't been fertilized at all. Uh, that's how you tell the difference. When the ground gets lighter, you can re-fertilize it uh, as a general rule. Now couple of other little clips for you here one of which I hope will be a little bit handy I don't know 
but sometimes you need to play your fields as I've mentioned now I, I just stick all my fields into one go you know they all do the same crop don't have to worry about what what crops in your tipper and uh, I take the opportunity if I'm plowing just to use the uh, the plow to put in my uh, corn uh, very important for the pigs and very good very good crop in this game much better than it ever has been financially um, now here we go so I've uh, fertilized behind the harvester I'm now fertilizing where the plow has been that's stage two of the fertilizer and I'm also going to get the third stage done as I seed using that Amazon seeder which is a very odd machine um, basically it fertilizes and seeds at the same time it uses the seed uh, twice as quickly as it uses the fertilizer but in a design quirk carries almost four times more fertilizer than it does seed so in effect there's like eight times to one in the land <laughs> that it can work in regards to the fertilizer and the seed so you're going to be filling this up a lot with seed very rarely with fertilizer but it does the job the, Hur the hurleyman handles it nicely and as I say you know fertilize plow fertilize use that one and uh, basically you finish seeding the, 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 this field is ready um, right filling your seeder you can just drive up even if the pallets are up on a wagon no problem or if you're doing multiplayer or you like playing front loaders and such you can basically do it the manual way I guess this is going to be a little bit more useful if you're kind of farming a bit more re remotely this is also the first rain I've seen in the game um, it looks pretty good I like it um, it still comes through the building roofs but I kind of think we just have to accept that as part of the uh, the farm simulator universe it doesn't make any difference anyway so yeah if you've got your imagine my my uh, cedar is stranded in a field there you go you get a nice little animation a little bit messy but it does the job you never spill anything in this game by the way the animation is going to be very sloppy but um, nothing sort of disappears anyway thank you very much for watching leave a like or a comment and I'll, I'll make you some more thank you very much Good night.